We're here to talk about Pat Teston today, and I want to share a story. More often than not, you know, running for a statewide office, you're traveling all over the state. And Pat would accompany me on a, on a few events, not just here in the district, but across the state. And after speaking, people would lean over to me and say, hey, when are you going to get that guy to run for office? Hey, he's really good. we got to get him out there. we got to get him to run for something. Um, not only, I think, we have scored big by having Pat Teston as our candidate, but also to tell you this is what we really need in Wisconsin is to build a team. For 40 years, if you go back into the 60s and the 70s and, and even in the early 80s, when one party had control of the capital and drove the agenda, and the only debates and the only discussions were amongst the Republicans on the floor of the Assembly and, and the Senate fighting with each other, uh, figuring out how much more they could tax people, how much more control they were going to give the teachers union, and the public employees in general, but also to have a discussion about you know, how, how relevant the Republicans were at the time. And let's talk about that. It's, it's, really been, it's really been difficult. I grew up in a hard, working class, middle class family. My parents told me if I was going to get ahead in life, I'd have to work hard. That's why when I was 15 years old, I got my first job as a busboy. And through college, I worked various jobs back in Marinette in the factories and lumberyards to save money and help fund my education. Today, I share many of the challenges that you face, whether it's paying back those student loans or paying for a, uh, paying for a mortgage, along with also putting money aside for a wedding in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, I work as a, a sales rep for a Wisconsin-based wine distributor. And when I talk to my accounts in the 24th Senate District, whether they're store managers or small business owners, time and time again, I hear that their voices aren't being heard in the state Senate. This race isn't about me. This race isn't about one political party over another. This race is about you. This race is about the fact that you deserve better than the failed representation you've had in the state Senate. It's time for a change. It's time for a new direction and new leadership in the 24th Senate District. Day one, if I have the honor and privilege to serve as your next state senator, first, we're going to work to simplify the tax code so hardworking families keep more of their paycheck. Second, we're going to empower school districts on a local level to train a young workforce and begin to close the skills gap. Third, we're going to eliminate job-killing rules and regulations so we can make central and western Wisconsin a great place to live, work, and raise a family. Starting this afternoon, I'm going to begin going door to door to talk to as many voters between now and November. I entered this race because I've been fortunate to live and work in a state that has given me every opportunity to be successful. And when the time comes for my fiance and I to get married and have a family of our own, I want to make sure that our children have the same opportunities and better opportunities than we had growing up. So over the course of the next 11 months, I hope to earn your support and your vote as we continue to move our great state forward together. I want to thank you all for being here this morning. God bless the state of Wisconsin, and thank you all for being here.